the edges of it and, and get a point on it. Alright. And then to make a mistake with an eraser because you're already erasing. And that's the whole point. Okay. Very cool. Alright, this is a very good journal, journaling technique. Can you do it quick? And, and believe it or not, when you're not, people don't view this as drawing and your mind says, well I can't draw. Well you're not drawing. You're erasing. You know? So it's, it's psychological. You can do this with flowers, you can do it with insects, you can do it, it's really effective for insects, because insects are very angular, you know, sort of thing. Very nice. And all of a sudden, you've drawn a tree. Anything, you can do this on anything that, that stands out from its, from its background, or you can use it to make things that stand out, to make things stand out from their background. Here's some, yeah, here's, here, got this is in there, here's some reference materials, you know, that you can use to practice on.
draw doesn't have to be. This is also helping you contour your pencil, you know, you, you kind of get the idea. So, those of you that, that don't do your homework, not that there's any of you fall under that category. <laughs> going to do then is we're going to give this flat disc some dimension. Okay, so you need to open your kneaded eraser. You have to open it. There it is. You simply need it, squeeze it, you know, it's just your own. You simply, you don't, you don't use this rub. Okay? You simply take it and you make it into a ball and you just press it into your much here. And what do you get? It lifts off graphite. Okay? And you simply, if your edges are too sharp, you, you simply dab it around the edges, you know, so that, so that it's The other thing you can do is you can make your kneaded eraser into a point and you draw with it. You could, you could have done exactly what you did with your flicker eraser with a kneaded eraser by making a point. And once you've got graphite on it, then you knead it, you know, like you do you incorporate your dough into, into the, anybody makes bread and put raisins in it, you got to keep kneading it and get the same thing. And then when it gets too funky to use, then you get a new one. There's no way to wash it. Clean it. But it, it takes a long time for it to get so funky that, you know, if, you're, if your needed eraser gets too funky to use, you're, you're, you're doing your work very well. Choosing a lot. Okay? There you go. So you can see it being needed as you watch. <laughs> Here, it looks like the finger is sitting next to this round ball. Okay. That's great. I need to do more. Yeah. All right. Now you've all heard of dress shields and other kind of shields. You know, there's something called an eraser shield. We, we didn't give you one. Uh, these are five, six dollars. What it is is a, is a precision tool for erasing. And you can see these in an the art store, like, what the heck is that thing for? You know, people think it's to, it's to draw with. It's not to draw with, it's to erase precisely. And you, you can use this with your clicker eraser, and you can make very precise, you know, if you need precision in your, in your drawing, you see, it's very precise, very definable. Shapes if you need, you know, if you're doing power lines or something, if you simply can't get it right, you can use that. You can use that as a straight edge to erase you know, sort of thing. So, and these things come in all different shapes and sizes and different. If you're doing a journal and you uh, you want to put lettering on it, these come in letters. So you can actually put the letters, you know. So you can you can make a make a very interesting. Uh, journal entry with this technique. Now, one thing that you have to know, we haven't talked about is, once you've completed a journal page or a journal entry, are you done? 
what should you do to preserve it? Because this is going to smudge. Every time you touch it, every time you touch another page, it's going to smudge. You heard of fixative? You heard of fixative? There's two kinds of fixative. There's the there's the uh, off the shelf, quick and dirty, and we call that hairspray. It's gotta be aerosol. Air, yeah, it's gotta be air. You can't paint it on. It's gotta be aerosol. And the, the bad news about hairspray is it's not archival. In other words, it eventually goes bad, it'll eventually turn yellow, or it'll eventually, you know, you've seen people have too much hairspray in their hair, and every once in a while the hair just cranks off and falls. <laughs> we have a lady like that in our neighborhood. <laughs> she's, she's finally known as Helmet Head. <laughs> you know, if she walked by a brick wall, it would scratch the wall. And, uh, Go. Go back, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> so once, once you've created something, you need to preserve it. And the, the best thing to do is go to the art store and buy something called workable, and I didn't bring any workable fixative. Not permanent fixative, because once you spray something with permanent fixative or with hairspray, you're done. Because the, the medium won't stick to it. If you, if you spray it with a workable fixative, then you can put layers over it, you know, and you can still work on it, but it protects everything uh, underneath. So workable fixative. <laughs> you might as well just pipe the blood and the good news is it lasts a long time unless you're incredibly productive. <laughs> and then you can buy another can. Okay. Okay. So that was just a very quick and dirty technique to, to show you, but that makes it some very effective journal pages. Yeah, that has to be an aerosol too. You don't want anything touching. The, you can use depth varnish too, but once you do that, 